black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Invisible Man doesn't seem too terrible. I mean, doesn't leave a lot of mess laying around. <laughs> you don't even see him sometimes. <laughs> but he really is playing on some real fears that we all have. The fear of kind of like this unseen force watching us and knowing something and not being believed. Yeah. What do you think of those two fears would be the most difficult to overcome? Ooh, I think I think I think the idea of not being believed is is quite is quite a terrifying thing, and I think that that's where Lee has done something quite special with the movie. Is that you know the message of the the fundamental kind of crux of the movie? You know, it's about domestic abuse and uh, and about someone, a woman in this case, crying for help and no one believing her. And I think that that is inherently terrifying and and. Disgraceful because I think that that's what still happens in, in the world. It happens often, more mm. often than we would like it to. Mm. So during the course of the movie, we see the Invisible Man, he's everywhere, yeah. but nowhere at the same time. Yeah. When you are in that type of role where you're a major character plot, but the audience is not necessarily hearing or seeing you, yeah. how do you find that within yourself to do those type of performances? Oh, it's great. I get the days off when I'm not <laughs> in. Um, it, it, Lee and Lizzie and I have spoken an awful lot about how we wanted this looming presence throughout the movie, that even when we can't see him, you know, it's the, the sort of title of the movie, you know, how do you make a movie where the titular character is, you can't see him, and so I think a lot of that is down to Lee. Like, Lizzie and I felt it was really important to develop the relationship between Adrian and Cecilia and make that dynamic as sort of honest and as truthful as we possibly could. And so the rest of it kind of followed, you know, and, and I think that's that what's was so interesting is the research, doing the research for Adrian and going into, you know, I'm not narcissistic to my knowledge, but but it was so interesting reading about what these how these kind of men operate and how uh, the, the degrees of manipulation. So that was quite eye-opening, um, sort of doing all the research for that. But So it was a kind of a, an amalgamation of a lot of conversations, a lot of, and every single part of, of Adrian that you see in the movie was, was very, very carefully thought out. So you can take this uh, high-tech invisibility suit for 24 hours. Mm. Where would you take it? What would you use it for? Oh, I feel like nothing, I would do nothing good with it. <laughs> like I feel <laughs> like I've been asked this so much and my head goes to the darkest places. What would you do if you had a suit and you could be an invisible? I think I'd take it to Disneyland and skip the lines. That is a good answer. <laughs> that is the most wholesome answer we've had. <laughs> and then unzip it like, oh, you didn't see me here? And then take the spot. Do you know what? I might join you on that if that's all right. Yeah, have a little fun with it. A little good fun. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.